is going on, you cenophiles and pedophiles? Just kidding, if you are a pedophile, fuck off the channel. Fuck you. Took a super dark, weird turn. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your boy, Alex, and today we're checking out Men in Black. Alright guys, so this is one of those movies that I should have definitely seen by now in my life and I literally told my wife I hadn't seen this movie and she's like, what? What fucking movies did you watch in your life? I was like, I'm just a teenage dude, baby. Anyway, this movie came out in 1997. I was literally, uh, math, three. And I'm really excited to watch this, man. A little bit of Will Smith. Who else is in this movie? A little bit of Will Smith. A little bit of Tommy Lee Jones. A little bit of, uh, Barry Sonnenfeld. I don't know anybody else in this movie. Should I go for Sour Patch Kids or Watermelon? Kids. Yeah. Let's do that. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, grab your Gooches. We're gonna see if this movie stands the test of time. Does it still hold up after 25 years? Let's see. Mm. 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 Only thing I know about this movie is there's aliens involved. Danny Elfman, already good job on the music. Is there a point to this dragonfly or? Guess we'll find out. No fucking way, based on the caramel, oh, caramel. Marvel comic? <laughs> there's no escaping it, this is supposed to be a non-Marvel movie. All right, fuck it. Steven Spielberg? Oh shit, dude, this is gonna be good. God damn bugs. Oh shit. Silencio. Oh shit, is he, he's transporting illegals across the border? Wow, pick the deck, what a surprise. So Nick, what do you get? Like a hundred bucks I had here? Two hundred? We'll take it from here. Who the hell are you? INS Division 6. Who you got your money on, D? Tough call, okay? <laughs> Fuck. We're gonna have a little chat with our friend here. You fellas can hit the road. <laughs> what is this guy's deal right here? Keep on protecting us from the dangerous aliens. Oh, that I get. Aliens meaning two different things, right? <gasps> Mikey? What the fuck? That's enough, Mikey. You hand me that head. <sighs> Oh fuck, dude. So they know this alien? Oh! <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude got blasted blue all over his face. Ew. It's like a smurf came all over him. Oh, looks like you got some entrails on you there, pal. The situation's out of control. Calm down. Okay. Probably gonna explain it later, but like, why the fuck did the alien get super pissed when that guy just saw him? What in the hell is going on? Excellent question, and the answer you're looking for lies right here. Okay. I am just a figment of your imagination. No. You fucking me? Damn, what a good old read. Oh. Okay, well. The underground gas vein, genius. You fellas need to exercise a lot more caution before discharging your firearms, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> that issue plays close to home nowadays, right? A lot of times police seem to shoot first, ask questions later type of deal. They're beautiful, aren't they? What? The stars. Damn, that is nice. I will miss the chase. No, D, you won't. D looks like a wish.com Stan Lee. NYPD freeze! Holy oh, God, Edwards! Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Landed on his feet. Perfectly fine. Ah! It'd just be raining black people in New York. <laughs> he looks so young. Do you see this? Huh? NYPD! means I will knock your punk ass down. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh. I thought you were gonna smash him to the fucking stone wall. This is like, uh, <laughs> I guess, yeah, Marvel movie from the 90s, dude. Alien weapons and all. They've advanced quite a lot since then. Oh, what the fuck? Is he an alien too? Oh, damn, I'm already out of Sour Patch. What's up? You don't understand. Your world's gonna end. Oh, okay. The fuck is that, dude? What the hell are you? He's an alien. Watch the ledge. Watch the ledge. Oh, he didn't give a fuck. I, look, I, wait, wait a minute. Let me talk to you. Oh my god. Okay. All I want is to come home to a nice clean house with a nice fat steak on the table, but instead <laughs> I get this. It looks like poison. 
Oh god. You one of them wife beaters? Useless Beatrice. Damn, Beatrice. Thing that pulls its weight around here is my goddamn truck. <laughs> Figures. That's his response for a goddamn meteor coming out of the sky? Figures. Figures. What? I'd be freaking out. What the heck is it, Edgar? <laughs> Get your big butt back in the house. Nowadays, that'd be a compliment. Beatrice, <laughs> Beatrice Thick. <laughs> Okay, that pull down was pretty slow. Oh. Oh. Oh god, now the alien- Oh, I see. Okay. Well now Edgar's gonna be eating everything that she makes. She's probably gonna like him more. Edgar, what on earth was that? Sugar. I've never seen sugar do that. <laughs> Give me sugar. Take off your robe, Beatrice. In water. No. Okay. Aw, she made like a nice meal. That doesn't look like poison. Ew. Hey, your skin is hanging off your bones. <laughs> Her enunciation is so weird. Hey, your skin is hanging off your bones. Uh, oh! Is that letter? Some women are going around nowadays looking like that. The wrong type of facelift. Fuck. Why is it that none of the other officers saw either of these two events? Well, sir, some of the other officers are a little soggy around the midsection. I guess that's why they weren't able to keep up. <laughs> ten minutes, you take Outside. your best shot. No. Off, guy. Take ten minutes on a Stairmaster, you pudgy bastard. <laughs> Laurel Weaver, Deputy Medical Examiner. Find me at the Morgan 26. I'll show you. What? Who are you? Come on, let's take a ride. I'm part of a bureau that licenses, monitors, and polices alien activity on the planet Earth. Okay. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna slot up in here and I'm gonna put my thing down. What? What does that mean? Sounds suggestive. You into something a little hotter than some stolen Rolexes. Oh, well, I'm a huge crack dealer now, but I still work here because I love the hours. <laughs> Why do you lie to me, Jeeves? I'm gonna count to three. Take a cruise and three. Drop the weapon and put your hands on your head. You insensitive prick. Oh, what? Oh, that's pretty sick. Right there. The one in the middle. You sold a reverberating carbonizer with mutate capacity to an unlicensed cephalopoid. Is there gonna be an, uh, Ask Jeebs joke? <laughs> and I'm gonna be back to talk about them Rolexes. I want a Rolex, not gonna lie, but I would never pay for one. You ever see one of these, son? <laughs> he says, Honey, this one's eating my popcorn. <laughs> What? You see what I mean about tequila? You need to lay off the sauce. And I'll see you bright and early, nine o'clock. Whoa, he literally forgot everything? The boy smoked fucking six blunts in the face. Oh, hell no, dude. Uh. Just what exactly do you think you're doing here? Taking care of your pest problem. Oh! Okay. Fucking Lenny from Mice and Men just zapped that dude with a goddamn pest wand. The hell? You're all here because you're the best of the best. <laughs> Why are they all sitting in them little egg pods? I feel like they don't have more prestigious chairs. Why exactly are we here, son? You're one of those kids? Second Lieutenant Jake Jensen, West Point, graduate with honors. We're here because you're looking for the best of the best of the best. <laughs> okay, relax, dude. States all his credentials. Alex Hefner, four inch cock. We're sitting here watching Men in Black. What? Yeah, he's just really excited and he has no clue why we're here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's get going. He <laughs> literally tore it. Just put the other half of the pencil down, dude. It doesn't need to be together like that. Okay. These are the best of the best? May I ask why you felt little Tiffany deserved? Oh, shit. Well, she was the only one that actually seemed dangerous at the time, sir. Because she was a little bitch. That's why. You know, eight-year-old white girl, middle of the ghetto, bunch of monsters, <laughs> this time of night with quantum physics books. She about to start some shit, Zed. Okay. All right, well, got a fucking answer for everything. But this kid ran down a cephalopoid on foot. Boss, that's got to be tough enough. Okay, so they're, they're just looking for all these traits, or it seems like he's satisfied with speed. Congratulations. You're everything we've come to expect from years of government training. Major shot at the damn government? You're everything we'd expect. Some half-assed scrubs that can't take a test, poke holes through paper with pencils, <laughs> and shoot little girls. Oh, you brought that tall man some flowers. Did you ever see the movie Casablanca? Never seen it. Same thing, except no Nazis. More non-humans arrive every year, and they live among us in secret. Tell you boys, Ed, I had an absolutely wonderful time man thank you for everything but uh why don't you show me the door 
Twanga. Twanga. Oh, what the fuck? He goes a twanga. Ew, dude, fucking. We got a little slug roach just smoking a cigarette. They all got the voice of that chick from Monsters, Inc. Wazowski, you didn't file your paperwork. There are around 1,500 aliens on the planet. We have drivers. Uh, not as many as you'd think. Well, why, why the big secret? People are smart. They can handle it. 500 years ago, everybody knew the Earth was flat. And 15 minutes ago, you knew that people were alone on this planet. Damn, people are stupid. I'm not arguing with that. A lot of people are fucking stupid. Catch. You will sever every human contact. Nobody will ever know you exist anywhere. Damn. I'll give you the sunrise to think it over. What's the point of not seeing people or making contact with humans? We just established that humans are fucking stupid. <laughs> Literally sitting on the bench all night to think about it. Dude, go home. Think it over over some food. So awesome. Yo, those pants are sick. Those are actually pretty damn cool. I'd rock those. First off, I don't want nobody calling me son or kid or sport or nothing like that, cool? Whatever you say, Slick. <laughs> I got bossed the other day. Typically I call, I, I uh, pal people. Sometimes I buddy people. What the hell? This is like Monsters, Inc. in real life. This is a fascinating little gadget. It's gonna replace CDs soon. So I'll have to buy the White Album again. The White Album. Beatles? Hey, what's this thing? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Practical joke by the great attractor. He thought it was funny as hell. Everyone on those screens is an alien. Sylvester Stallone? Could have told you damn Sylvester Stallone was an alien. Boy talking like, yo Adrian. Of course. Who else we got? When I was in third grade, everybody told me I was crazy. Ms. Edelson. Be quiet and pay attention. Let's put it on. Put what on? The last suit you'll ever wear. What happens if he fucking cheeseburgers out and becomes fat as hell? Would he get a new suit or no? From now on, you'll have no identifying marks of any kind. Damn, no way. Deleting fingerprints. You don't exist. You were never even born. Damn, that's actually kind of cool. You are no longer part of the system. We are the men in black. Jay. I make this look good. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty sick. Oh. Got a cat in the bag? Dude, this guy is fucking weird. Landed alien out of zone. Who is it? Reggie, why don't you take Junior here with you? Go get him, tiger. First thing he asked you not to do. I don't want nobody calling me son or kid or sport. All right, Junior and Tiger. Tiger's not bad. Tiger's not bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that dude is tall. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Got a big ass head. Oh. Six is up. Good as an island. Gave him a break. It's gonna be fucking sketchy ass bug man, right? Oh, oh shit. Boy's more flexible than me and Malkova. <gasps> Ew, dude. You can kill us both, but you will not find the galaxy. You're right about one thing. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh, so in the house where the dude was trying to fumigate, there were normal roaches, and then on the plate he just drops fucking Madagascar hissing cockroaches. That's weird. Goddamn roach expert? Fuck am I? Your resident alien card has you restricted to the island of Manhattan. Where are you going, Reggie? Well, look. <laughs> oh. And you handle this. It's easy, you just catch. Oh god, deliver the baby? Is it an alien kid? Oh my god, it's gonna have like fucking blue goop, isn't it? Oh my god! You doing fine, Ace? What kind of emergency? What's the rush to get off of some of the uh Oh god! I have no idea what their conversation is. I am <gasps> Oh! Oh. Ew, the tiniest bit cute, but fucking disgusting, bro. Actually, ew. Kind of... Ew, dude. He's got nipples on his head. He's got six fucking nipples. The nipples get bigger and longer as you go up his head. Anything about that seem unusual to you? What would scare Regic so badly that he'd risk a warp jump with a newborn? The Pope's a father. What is the Pope doing laying pipe all over the city? Then I believe you're looking for tips in the supermarket tabloids. Not looking for. Finding. Found. Alien stole my husband's skin. Can I help you, gentlemen? The FBI would like to talk to you about your visitor. You here to make fun of me, too? No, ma'am. We at the FBI do not have a sense of humor we're aware of. <laughs> we are borderline fucking robots and aliens ourselves. FBI. Y'all ever seen those shirts, female body inspector? When I was like 12, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Back in the house. 
I gotta admit to you, that one got me sort of stumped. Ew, what the fuck is that, dude? It's like something that's wearing air. This is someone's wearing air. She says that weird, enunciate, woman. Dude was that ugly before he was an alien. They got a deer head as the centerpiece of the living room? He asked me for some water. Sugar water. Sugar water. Tap water. So you just flash that thing, it erases her memory, and you, you just make up a new one? That is so sick! And that weak-ass story is the best you can come up with. Edgar ran off with an old girlfriend. You're gonna go stay with your mom a couple nights, you're gonna get over it and decide you're better off. And now that he's gone, you're gonna go in town, you go to Bloomingdale's, you find yourself some nice dresses, get yourself some shoes. He's taking care of her, that's nice. Hire a decorator to come in here quick, yeah. cause... Damn. Yeah, seriously. Place needs work. Dude, I want one of them memory sticks. I would do that to a shit ton of people. When do I get my own flashy little memory messer up or thingy? When you grow up. Okay. <laughs> this movie's actually kind of funny, dude. Zed, we have a bug. They consume, infest, destroy, live off the death and destruction of other species. Imagine a giant cockroach. No, I don't want to imagine that. Does that sound like fun? No. Nothing about a giant fucking roach seems fun. I was looking that up with my wife the other day. What the fuck are the purpose of cockroaches? It's like they eat shit. They eat a bunch of garbage and shit. It's like no real fucking purpose for them, right? I don't think so. What's the problem with the cat? What's your problem? I hate the living. Most of us do. All right, does he, so he's probably got a bunch of weird alien innards, huh? Can't be human. Oh my God. I want to know what their dicks look like. You what? They're aliens. Do they have human dicks or do they have alien dicks? And if they're alien dicks, are they like hugely long or are they little nubs? I don't know why I'm being so hung up on that. Examiner tried to verify this rectally only <gasps> to find the subject was without rectum. What? Yeah, how does he poop? Did not have a butt? <laughs> Tell me, do you have something unusual around here? Let me show you. Dude, what a weird job working in a morgue. Like that takes a weird kind of fucking person, right? That <laughs> dude looked at his dick, you know it. Mm. Oh, the sound effects are disgusting. You have really pretty eyes. Oh, shit. Nothing like getting a little romantic in front of a fucking dead corpse. Notice anything strange? Stomach, liver, lungs. Nope, all fine. Doctor, they're all missing. Oh, you know, that, that's obviously the first thing I noticed. I don't think this body's really a body. I think it's some kind of transport unit for something else altogether. The question is, what? Aliens, bitch. I don't know why I said bitch. She seems like a very nice lady. You know what I like to do sometimes when it's really late? <laughs> My mind's going nuts right now. Dr. White. What? Oh, I wanted to know. What's she gonna say? Flick her bean under the mattress or what? What is happening? You got a real queen it undead thing going on. Yeah, she body. does. <laughs> Great body. <laughs> what the hell is that? Ew. Who needs to. <gasps> Aww. Dude, that was terrifying, but cute. What the fuck? Belt. Gooch. Weirdest fucking movie. Prevent war, the galaxy is on Orion's belt. What the hell does that mean? Hey, you guys aren't really from the Department of Health, are you? Galaxy on Orion's belt didn't make any sense. You're gonna have to show me some idea if you're gonna be in the morgue. Would you stop that? Damn, just keep blasting her memory. <laughs> How many times have you flashy thing that poor woman? A couple. So would you not worried about no long-term damage? Little. I ain't playing with you, Kay. Have you ever flashy thing me? No. Yeah, he has. Man, isn't that weird? Imagine if devices like that actually exist, which they probably do with all the government agency bullshit going on. Imagine that's happened to you like 15 times, you just don't know, you don't remember. We got two dead aliens and a deputy medical examiner needs a new memory. Make it a happy memory. <laughs> I would totally fuck some people up. I'd be like, you were a goddamn Korean war vet. You fought for the other side and dug a tunnel underground. Burrowed underground for 18 months, came back up, ate nothing but fucking spinach and buckwheat. What? I would do, that would be awesome. Did anybody ever get any sleep around here? The twins keep us on Centaurian time. It's a 37 hour day. What? 37 hour day, dude? Imagine how much you could get done. I would love that. The galaxy is on Orion's belt. There are no galaxies on Orion's belt. The belt is just these three stars. Look, whatever, man. I know what I heard. Who the hell's that? Oh, is that, that's like his wife or something that he had to leave? So you were the guy in that picture you showed me with the flowers. And I take it she never got those flowers. Uh, ah. Well, you know what they say, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Y'all believe that? Better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all? And speak of the devil. Why don't you get down to Rosenberg's jewelry store and see what you can turn up. Give the kid a weapon. Hell yeah! 
Let's go, slap him out with a gun, dude. This isn't his first day, is it? I feel like this is this has been like a day long. <laughs> I get a little, little midget cricket. Oh, yeah. That thing's probably powerful as all hell. Okay, no alarms. Where are the employees of this store? Oh shit, the alien took over his body. Oh fuck, okay. No, oh, that sucks, man. That sucks. Yeah, okay, the damn zombie alien realizes what towing a truck means. Oh, fuck. Please. That didn't make any sense. Dude pulls a fucking shotgun out and the guy guy pulls a damn revolver out of his sl like no. Doesn't work like that. Dude's got a fucking shotgun. Okay. Okay. Get out! Alright. God damn, I told you, man. <laughs> Tiny little gun, packs a big punch. I'm used to that sort of thing. The only way these people get on with their happy lives is they do not know about it. Well, just zap their memory and be, move on. You can do whatever, zap them out. You can do whatever you want. You can fucking pull your dick out and helicopter it all around and then fucking zap people's brains and be good to go. Sorry, little end brains. You got cartons of Marlboro Reds. <laughs> Terrible cigarettes. We need help. Professional, somebody with years of experience in intergalactic politics. Oh, what the fuck? Goddamn Beetlejuice's grandpa and a bug. That makes it so much better. <laughs> now that's the worst disguise ever. That guy's definitely an alien. You don't like it? You can kiss my furry little oh, butt. Oh, fuck. On Killians and bugs, Frank, what do you know? I know nothing. Not a thing. <laughs> How many people you think got a pug and named it Frank after this movie? I bet a shit ton of people. Rosenberg said something about a galaxy on Orion's belt. What's he talking about, Frank? Beats me. Beats you. They're rehearsing a ventriloquist hat. Sorry. Those are the stupidest excuses. When are you gonna learn that size doesn't matter? Well, tell that to my wife. If the galaxy's here, it's not on Orion's belt. Okay. Oh, is Orion's belt? Is the cat what named Orion? Orion? And the belt is the collar? Orion? That's a pretty name. Yes! Yes, I got it! Yes! I'm happy that I guessed part of the script of a damn movie from the 90s. What the hell? Damn whole galaxy in the cat's collar? Fuck. Dude is gross. Yes, good. Thank you. Oh, I've seen him in movies before. What is he from? Is that dude from Scary Movie 2? He's the guy that sucks his own dick, right? A pet cat. Oh, I'd like to have it back. <gasps> oh, man. Dude, fucking disgusting. Fucking disgusting, bro. Did my guy faint? Oh. Ugh. Get a cat. It's not really that hard. I low key would like a cat just for content purposes. Imagine me being able to pick up the pussy right here and just like <laughs> flashing your brain ray all in her face. You're gonna wind up with leukemia or some shit. <laughs> oh shit. That's not funny. Not about to make a damn cancer joke. Ah! Hello? Hello? A uh, cat came in with a corpse the other day. Uh... Orion on the name tag. Well, this cat is a uh, witness in a murder case. Somebody to take him with me, ask him a few questions. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Maybe you could take me with you instead. Oh. Damn, you do start fast, don't you? <laughs> Hell yeah, she does. She likes that. <laughs> she likes that dark meat. <laughs> That's just stupid. There's something I need to show you. Mm, slow down, girl. You ain't gotta hit the gas like that. <gasps> Ew, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let her go, shit eater. Oh, listen, monkey boy. Put your weapons down. Never gonna happen, insect. It's gonna be okay. Don't bet on it, meat sock. Meat sock? Let me go! <laughs> Why is he taking the time to get rid of all the little knickknacks? Get out of the car and take your fuck ass beads. <gasps> Ew, what the fuck, dude? He's not leaving the planet in the cab. Let's go. One hour. Then what? Oh, that's bullshit. The Archelians will destroy that galaxy. You're talking about us. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Wait, what? This planet is in the galaxy that is in that cat's collar? Is that right? Do those still work? 
fuck are those? It's a long trip. I'll need a snack. Ah! He's literally taking a human with him on the journey out of the universe to eat her. Like she's a pack of damn cheese it snack mix. Push the little red button. Whoa. Oh shit. Learn to take some joy in your work. You like music? What are they gonna play? Elvis? Oh, my, my. Y'all seen the new Elvis movie? Fucking slaps, bro. You do know Elvis is dead, right? No, Elvis is not dead. He just went home. What? You don't want to eat me. I'm a very important person on my planet. Like a queen. A goddess, even. <laughs> Lady, you work in a morgue. How important can you be? I'm staying here! Oh! I mean, at least he threw you into a tree. Could have been a whole lot worse, right? That's what I'm talking about. Bro, just check in. They don't check out. I mean, that that's legitimately true. One time I squished a fucking roach. I, I swear to you, dude, I squished it when I was younger, like half of it, and I saw like him vomit or like stuff come out of his mouth. And then after a while, I was too afraid, so I dipped and I came back and like lifted the thing up and he was just fucking crawling with his whole half of his back body squished. Like those motherfuckers can live without a head. They're disgusting, bro. Disgusting. Just shoot the damn thing on the count of three. One, two, three. After all that, it literally got. They took care of it with two shots? <laughs> oh, no Under arrest for violating sections 4153 of the Tyco Treaty. Like this? What are you- Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, is he a giant fucking roach? He's the giant fucking roach, isn't he? I don't want to see it. Okay, okay! That's all I'd need to see and I'd be fucking bolts in the opposite way, dude. I cannot stand roaches. Eat me! Ew, dude. Eat me! Ew. I don't get it. Is he gonna cut him from the inside? He's gonna eat and run, huh? Dessert. Honestly, even the dialogue's like not too cheesy. For them being a fucking giant roach alien, like, it's, this movie's not bad at all. Yeah, light his ass on fire, dude. There's only one way off of this planet, baby, and that's through me. Okay, well, there's that. Pull a Hercules and cut him from the inside, dude. <gasps> Fuck no, dude. Those are on, that's honestly worse than the goddamn, oh! Oh, oh. Fucking no, dude. I. Was that your auntie? Oh, ew! I don't like this. Big bad bug got a bit of a soft spot, huh? You need to ease up out my face for something bad happened to you. He, he's got no fear at all, dude. Oh, that makes me physically ill. All the fucking roach goop. Call the Archelians, tell them we have the galaxy. Red. Ew. I was, I was down here doing all the work. Oh god, because they don't die, bro, right? Like, that's actually accurate, man. That's exactly what happened with the Roach in my life. When Burn him. <laughs> it's the morgue lady, right? Interesting job you guys have. Yep. That is so fucking gross. What is that? From like a movie production standpoint, what is all the goop that they have on them? Ugh. She did help us bust that bug. Maybe we didn't have to flashy thing her. Who's she going to tell? She ain't out with all dead people. It's not for her. <laughs> it's for me. Oh, he wants to forget it. They're beautiful, aren't they? Stars. Oh. I didn't even think about that. That magic wand for like PTSD purposes, bro. I haven't been training a partner. I've been training a replacement. Oh, wow. I cannot do this job by myself. Hey, guys. She's going to be your partner. Hey. I've just been down the gullet of an interstellar cockroach kid. That's one of a hundred memories that I don't want. I don't blame you. See you around, Jack. He's no. gonna flash himself, right? You won't. Man awakens from 35 year coma. Oh wow, he's back with his wife. That's pretty sick, actually. And she got her flowers. Hell yeah. Hey Jay, a high consulate from Salaxium 9 wants floor seats for the Knicks Bulls game. Alright, let's put in a call to Dennis Rodman. He's from that planet. <laughs> I mean, I that's that's low-hanging fruit, right, right. Fucking polka-dotted dress-wearing dude. Wow. This whole damn galaxy, like, in the cat necklace, are we going back to the cat? 
Oh shit, it's just a damn game of marbles for aliens. Whoa, that was trippy, dude. All right, dude, that wasn't bad at all, man. Not gonna lie, man. A movie from 1997, like, what do you want? I expected everything to be outdated. I expected the graphics to be fuck ass, like CGI to be really just like bad and cringeworthy, but honestly, 25 years later, this movie does stand the test of time. Now, if that movie came out today, I'd be like, eh, maybe like raise the budget a bit. What I liked about it is it reminds me of kind of like a parody movie, like it's got that energy, but at the same time, it's really funny and well done. <laughs> That, damn, you do start fast. <laughs> like, kills me, bro. I don't have the, like, nostalgia for this movie, right? Like, if you had seen this movie way back in the day when it first came out, I guarantee it brings you back to that time in your life. It has that emotional value, that emotional tie and connection. Um, so it makes it that much more special. And I don't have that. So I kind of give it a couple extra points just knowing that, that that factor is there for a lot of people that have seen it. I don't know if this is something that y'all are going to want me to continue down the path on. I'll put the next one on the Patreon poll for next week just to see if that's something you guys want. Guys, thank you so much for spending some of your Friday with me on the channel. Thank you so much for watching Men in Black with me. And guys, I will see you in the next one. And guess what? Avengers Infinity War on Monday. See y'all there. Love you guys. Peace!